All right, gang, uh, the purpose of this video is to show you a little bit about registering for my math lab. I'll, I'll put up a, uh, in the getting started section on Blackboard, I'll sh um, uh, I've got a handout that I post that, that makes this um, pretty clear. But there's one thing I really want to focus on this uh, in this video is, is how you uh, sign up for a temporary account. Because, you know, there could be situations where you're waiting on financial aid, Maybe you're just trying to see if this whole online uh, format uh, is for you, or maybe you're just a gigantic procrastinator and you keep putting things off. Guys, your first assignment is due when your first assignment is due. Anybody can get a 14-day uh, temporary code, which is what I'm going to show you to do here. So there's no reason not to get your first assignment time. Uh, turned in, uh, submitted on time. All right, enough of that. So we're going to go to register now, which is where you will go if you don't already have a My Math Lab account. The, the, the greatest source of confusion, I've been using My, my Math Lab now for, um, oh gosh, I don't even know, probably seven, eight, nine, ten years. The greatest source of confusion for students is when they have two accounts. They've used a My Lab um, uh, in a previous course, it could be my English lab, my chemistry lab, my physics lab, my math lab, my stat lab, and they create two different uh, accounts. And they go to do their assignment, they sign into the wrong account, uh, creates mass confusion. So uh, if you have a, uh, an account, then go ahead and uh, use it to sign in. But if you're creating a new account, I want to show you what to do. So we're going to go to student. And it's going to tell you, uh, it's going to prompt you three things that you need. Uh, first thing it tells you is you need an email account. Guys, this does not have to be your Shawnee State University account. It could be a Gmail account. It could be a Yahoo account. It can be, you know, whatever. Uh, the course ID is something that you get from me. It's uh, included in the syllabus. And either an access code or credit card. Now, if you go to the um, bookstore, Shawnee State University bookstore, and buy the access code, then this is what you have. Now, I think you probably paid about $125 to $130. Um, if you want to save some money, and if you have a credit card, uh, I'm posting this after Christmas, so a lot of people's credit cards may be maxed out. But if you have a credit card that's not, not maxed out, you can save quite a bit of money. Um, Purchasing directly from my math lab and cutting out the middleman um, being our Shawnee State University bookstore. But sometimes, you know, that doesn't work. So, all right, so let's go register now. And you're going to need the course ID. Now, um, let me get uh, a course ID for me. So, uh, Darbro 54846 will work. And what I'm doing, I'm trying to put this up where I can use this video semester after semester. So, uh, again, this, this course ID may not be your course ID, but it's a course ID that I'm using in this particular semester. But, again, that's provided in the class syllabus. So we're going to hit continue. And uh, we're either going to sign in with a Pearson account or we're going to create a new Pearson account. So I'm going to create a new one just in case. And you can see that uh, the illustration I'm using here is for my STAT 1150 class that I'm teaching in the spring 2017. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's um, just um, these are kind of generic general instructions. So uh, let's go create and we're going to uh, enroll someone. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to enroll my wife. I know she would love to take another statistics class. Now, um, I don't know why that came up, but um, I'll tell you what let's do. Uh, I, I, she may have an account because I may have done this before. So let's just use a, a Gmail account. In fact, I don't even think my wife has a, a Gmail account, but she may. I don't know. Uh, password, I am going to use, uh, so what do we have here? We have eight characters, one letter, one number, at least one capital. Okay, so I'm going to come up with some. Mm. 
and then hopefully these things match. So my wife's name is Tanya, last name Darbro. Security question, I'm going to make something up here. Uh, what uh, is your father's middle name? Uh, I have no idea what her father's middle name is. I'm just going to put Scott. Um, accept the agreement. And, you know, down here, if you want to help him pierce and improve products and learn about new offers, uh, click that. Uh, otherwise, don't click it. All right, so we're going to create an account. Now, uh, I would probably come up here and have this saved, but I don't want to save it in this case because this is just a fictional account that I'm setting up um, for illustration. All right, so I get to this point, and if I bought the access code from Shawnee State University Bookstore, then I'm going to click this, and I'm going to very carefully type in the access code. If you want to use a credit card, uh, so 104 bucks, so that seems like you save about 20 to $25. But what I want to show here is how you do the temporary access code. So you can set this up for 14 days, two weeks. So guys, if I were you, I would go ahead and watch the videos. And then a couple of days before the assignment was due, I would set up this account kind of at the last minute. Make sure, get, you know, make sure I have enough time to, to, do the, uh, uh, to submit the assignment. So I would click this. Are you sure you want to? Yes. And you're going to get a temporary account. Now, this temporary account works just like a full-blown account that you, uh, you paid you good money for. Uh, you, you have access to all the assignments. Um, and uh, so you can go to the course. Now, when you go to your course, you can see that I've already created some things. So this is your course. And we don't need all this stuff. So go to the course. And most usually, when you... Um, I wish they had, didn't have all these pop-ups. But anyway, most usually what you're going to see uh, when you go here is you're going to have assignments in gradebook. These two options right here uh, will be where you primarily uh, want to go when you come to my math lab. So just for example, I've already uploaded the first assignment. So you can click Assignments. And you can see that assignment number one is due January the 17th at 11 p.m. Again, more about that will be learned in, uh, when I go over the, uh, the class syllabus. So you'll click this, and you'll start working. All right, let's say you want to start with question 14 first. You can. If you want to start with question 20 first, you can. I would probably start with question number one first. So I'd click it. Um, it's going to pop up. And I would read and click and check the answer. Guys, uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I got in this, um, this video. Take care.